and these valiant lawyers who will lead this charge and the NAACP and all the members and people of the community who will fight, that we all feel that very urge, sense of urgency. We see a common process in almost every one of these cases. You have a victim shot dead in the streets and give it a few days and suddenly you start seeing images of that victim um, be, you know, cast in a light as a, as a criminal. What we have not seen in the media at all is a thorough review of the history of the McMichaels, the men who are actually uh, in jail today because of their actions for the murder of Ahmaud Arbery. I encourage everyone to vote. These things must change. There are different levels of this fight. There is definitely the one that will happen in the courts. Criminal is the new black. And over and over again, the black community has been called criminals, barbecuing, criminals walking down the street, criminals jogging. Ahmaud Arbery has been in the media today. Uh, uh, they continue to release new images attempting to criminalize Ahmaud Arbery, the victim. When the criminals remain William Bryant, Gregory McMichael and Travis McMichael. Can, and hopefully I, as long as I'm around, will be able to truly see a society. All too often, African Americans get justice by video. And that is not just immoral and improper and illegal. That is not justice. I'm convinced now more than ever we are in a moral, ethical war. And the concerned black clergy and other faith alliances, the Jewish community, the Muslim community, we're now coming back together as we did once in the 60s because the time is right to do right.